Hello and welcome to the final video of the day at Mobile Made Simple. So this is the review I've personally been waiting for and it's for my favourite case from the previous generation. It's the Spigen Slim Armour Pro. So this case actually works brilliantly if you haven't seen it already. It does cover the hinge of the phone so if you drop it it's protected and the hinge sort of folds out when you open the phone and it actually gives you some extra grip as well. So it is a bulky case but for the price of this phone, I think this is the best case you can get. So this case does retail for £89.99, £90, so it is expensive. It's almost Apple-like, considering Spigen cases are normally £10, you know, for iPhone. So this is an expensive case, but it is, I think, the best way to protect your new investment on a fold. So they have given us slightly different packaging as well, so rather than just a simple bag, you do get like a sliding one for this, so they've put that extra bit of marketing into this one due to the price so if we take this out so again as the other speed and cases we have got extra strips and i think this one will have strips on it to be solid fitting so we look at the instructions front so it shows you how to slide it in maybe i have been doing it wrong you see installation so you peel the strips off put the rear on first and then the front it looks like so we're just give it a go so first we'll prepare the case and take off the strips. We'll do the rear first. So there's a couple of strips on the side there in the bottom. Actually what I will do, I'll just pause the video and quickly put my SIM card in before I stick this on and I do expect to be leaving this on. So now that's done, I'll put my SIM card in. We'll just take the adhesive strips off. Making sure to do this carefully is you don't want to pull the actual sticky tab off itself. There's some messages coming in. I always find the top one the awkwardest to get as you gotta just try and get it with a foot. There we go, got that. But that's one side. The bits always seem to stick on my fingers. It's a bit annoying and you can't get them off. So we'll put the back on first as advised. It does feel a tight fit, same as the clear one. Oh, that sounded like that's gone on. Make sure that's fully slid. Obviously just push gently towards the hinge, make sure that's slid all the way. And then we'll look at the front one. So this will have more adhesive strips. So you've got one at the bottom there. Take that off. One there. It's good to have small fingers for this, which I haven't got. But try and make sure you get them all before you put the phone in. Oh, and I did nearly miss one in that corner. Right, there we go. So now, we clip this over. Make sure that's shoved right the way. And then you'll know when it's all fitted right as you get this solid connection here. So you can see your hinge is fully covered by this. It's got like a, feels like a nice soft lining in there. It's plastic, but it is soft, so it's not gonna scratch your hinge. As I know, when I had a normal case last year, dropped the fold, dented it within a couple of weeks, which obviously was a bit upsetting. So you've still got good access to your buttons, fingerprint sensor, obviously your cameras are there. This looks like the one microphone's slightly off, so shove that a bit more. That's always a good way of telling if you've pushed the case on properly, as you'll see your speaker holes and your microphones are aligned. So what I used to do last year is just open it and just gently make sure they're as far as they'll go on the device so you can see them my calls are okay there that my calls free at the bottom if you've got your usb-c and your speaker so yeah again this feels like it will be as solid as last year's it feels pretty similar i think the only thing that's different is they changed the camera shape but it's like a, a soft matte touch plastic so it's quite grippy in the hand obviously it does add bulk but at the sake of adding bulk, you are now protected. So if you drop it, you're not going to damage your hinge. You've got a good lip around the screen and there's a lip around the camera. And obviously when the folds open, you get this like where the hinge folds to the side at the back. So it may look awkward. But actually, when you're holding it in the tablet mode, I find that my fingers just sort of grip around it. And you can use it better one-handed because you've got that finger grip at the back. And it's just overall a very nice case. So I'm going to leave this one on for now. 
unless I find something spectacular while I'm browsing later, this probably will be my go-to case for a while. So yeah, let me know what you think of this case in the comments. If you've used it before, then let me know your thoughts. And yeah, I'll set up the fold now and have a play around and hopefully the fold will live up to my expectations. I have been using a 12 Pro Max for a while, so it'd be good to try Android again. And hopefully with the new processor, etc., the waterproofing, then this can go and be a daily driver. Anyway, thanks for watching again. If you do want to see more Fold accessory videos or more videos related to the Fold or tech in general, then please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.